This is a quick, no-nonsense, five-minute technical analysis to bring you up to speed on Bitcoin and tell you exactly what to be looking for next. So let's get straight into the market. I'm going to start off by explaining my higher-term time frame bias first, okay? And my higher-term time frame bias right now is bearish, uh, and I do expect lower prices to come. Of course, on the lower term time frame, we've had a few different long trades within here, right? In the last video, I was explaining you through the swing failure pattern that I took as a long trade. And then you had the uh, internal long trade that Igor gave, gave us a rise to around 26,800. Of course, we've now fizzled back down here. These are all lower term time frame setups. OK, so on the higher term time frame, we, of course, need to zoom out a little bit. So I'm going to stay here on the four hour chart. And what I'm going to do is just explain real simply why I personally am expecting lower prices to come. So, first of all, it's simple market structure. The market structure remains bearish. As we can see throughout this whole bit of price action, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs. We come down here for a lower low. Officially, this is still another lower high. So, market structure, a key factor for me. Second of all, and probably the biggest factor to be totally honest with you is the order flow what we are just seeing is on every single bounce and this is not just on this price action but when we look back in the chart before that big drop to the downside we were seeing the same on the order flow okay so look at this the order flow prior to the drop you know massive longs opening okay and now we see the same again we've got this sideways price action but uh, once again we just got longs going absolutely crazy here you see lots of longs opening and then we look again today you know here on the bottom of the bounce 6.9 million 6.6 .6 million 11 million these are open interest increases okay high positive delta just for me this is just a real big bearish sign on the order flow so i want to try and keep it simple right as a as a lower term time frame scope or day trader you know we can be a bit more intricate we can you know start to make things a little bit more i'm not sure the right word here maybe more fancy you know finding setups that are really you know kind of specialist right not everybody can see those setups but on when it comes to swing trading i like to keep it simple i like to keep it easy and simple so i'm just looking at the order flow again i'm not maybe so easy for everybody but for me the order flow is easy so i, I i'm looking at the order flow and i'm matching it with a market structure and i'm looking at my other markets for context i'm seeing the dxy on a total rip as soon as that hit 100 points right so this is the setup that we gave you know actually uh, a few months in advance uh with this white line the rise to the weekly the drop to 100 points and then the rise and since we took out 100 points on the DXY, that has been the absolute inverse correlation for Bitcoin. OK, so the day we hit 100 points on the DXY is the day Bitcoin starts to drop. <clears throat> and the DXY locally here doesn't have a sign of slowing down. So I am thus still expecting higher on the DXY. And that does remain, you know, helping me with a bearish bias for Bitcoin. So you might be saying, what is the next level that you're waiting for then, Daniel, to the downside? So. You know, I've already told my team this. I am bearish. I am expecting lower prices to come. OK, so my next level to the downside, which I could expect a reaction from, is this NPOC. So we're talking about another, you know, nearly 5% drop to the downside from here. Um, does this level present me with a level which could potentially change my herd term time frame bias eg i can I, I can be bearish right now if we do get a five percent drop and a reaction from here can i switch higher term time frame bullish the my initial thoughts would be no because i still wouldn't have seen anything in the market structure change okay but i could see something better on the order flow and I could see something better in my correlated or inverse correlated markets. Could see DXY coming up to the weekly level. Could see ES coming down to support as well as Bitcoin hitting those levels. So there's the potential. That's what I'm going to say. There's the potential of another 5% move uh, where I could change my bias. If we come down here, I just see a bunch of bearish order flow. My inverse correlated market, the DXY, continues to strength the stock market with weakness, well then naturally I'm not going to be able to change my bias here. I will remain bearish and I will simply look down uh, for lower prices, right? So for me, it's 
always a level to level environment okay it's always a level to level environment but within those levels i look at market context i look at my correlated and inversely correlated markets i'm looking at the order flow continuously okay i've had a bearish bias now for a few months i can remain with a bearish bias okay that's not changed on the lower term time frame, I'm happy to take long trades. So if I'm looking for more of a day trade, you know, if I'm like like that long that we had off of the swing failure pattern of the low, you know, that is a setup that we had planned, you know, it's an intraday type of setup, right? So I just want to make that clear. Just because I am higher term time frame bearish doesn't mean I'm scared to take a long trade on an intraday setup. It just means I'm more quick to lock in, take profit one, more quick to lock lock and take profit want to move the stop loss up to profits because I'd still feel I'm taking a long trade but there's a high probability that it gets stopped out and we go lower thus I want to be quick to lock in the take profit one move the stop loss up protect my capital and you know at the end of the day that's that's what I'm aiming for here bit of capital protection you know if I can make a little bit of profit on a you know counter trade long I'm, I'm going to do it uh, but at the end of the day, my bearish bias remains. I remain looking for lower. That's the reasons why. That's the next level of interest for me. And the, you know what I'd be looking for as we come down to that level. Uh, I hope this video has been helpful. And uh, yeah, if you want to, of course, see more of myself and the rest of the coaches where we got live streams every single day. Of course, we got our trading updates within the discord. Um, within the website, of course, you got the whole course of educational content. And on top of that, we've now got the live trading streams, the dedicated altcoin streams, the AMA, the trade recaps, the roundtable, all the educational and live trading content that you need over on chartchampions.com. So you know where to get it if you want more. I will see you over there and I hope you enjoy trading the charts. Cheers, everybody. Thank you and goodbye.